What's up, boys? This is gonna be sort of kind of just a video about Oceanade in general. Uh, I did find out a couple of interesting facts that I don't think I see many people talking about, so I wanted to bring them to you. But quickly, I do want to go over like a quick general overview. If someone is new and hasn't made it to the water balls yet, this is kind of what you can expect. Or if you've just made it here, there are a couple of things that you may not know about it, so let's quickly review. Essentially, the water boss is gonna be completely immune to any kind of damage. It's going to actually spawn mimics on the terrain that's covered in water that you're gonna fight it on to do most of the damage that it's going to do. It does have, uh, from what I know, one attack that it can actually attack you with, which is pretty much like a, an instant kill that I have seen. I, I haven't been able to tank one of them. Most of the damage that you're gonna take is from these mimics that spawn on the field, but just know that even if you don't uh, even if you try to attack this thing in general, it's you're not going to do any damage to it. You have to kill the mimics to in turn do damage. So the whole reason that you're farming this thing is for these little blue gems or some of the bigger gems, depending on how high up in uh, world rank you are. And you're going to be going after these little like ocean pearl thing, cleansing hearts. That's what they're called. Don't at me. And as you can see here, it does have a ton of different mimics that it can actually put onto the field to deal its damage. So here are a couple of the abilities that it has for itself. Sinking platforms. Uh, pretty much every time you clear a wave, um, it, it pretty much is going to start throwing the platforms underwater so that you can't actually stand on them. It kind of just shrinks the playing field that you're on. Submerge is where it's actually going to go under uh, water, I guess. I, I don't really... I don't ever notice that it does that. And then Whirlpool is the, the big damage move that it does. It kind of like puts like a little um, Whirlpool underneath your character and then it just sucks you in and kills you. And as you can see, people have such a big problem with this. <laughs> there is literally a huge section for strategy. Now, some of the things that I found out recently that I would like to share with you is I was looking through a bunch of formulas for the damage stuff and I noticed under the resistances that uh, each creature actually has a specific resistance to it corresponding to an element that you will have even as a completely free to play player. Uh, so we can look here, the boars and the ferrets actually have a negative 55% pyro resistance, which in turn just means they take increased pyro damage. Cranes and raptors have a uh, negative 55 electro resistance. Crabs and mallards have negative 55 cryo and finches and frogs have negative 55 geo. So there's, I guess you could probably come up with a way to memorize this. The, the only way that I do it is uh, cranes and raptors fly and in uh, Pokemon, the flying types are weak to electric. Crabs and mallards, uh, crabs and mallards don't really care for ice too much because they live on a pond. Boars and ferrets have fur so they wouldn't want to be burned and finches and frogs would get squished by rocks. I don't know. Come up with your own freaking thing to memorize this stuff. But anyways, uh, as you can see here, they, they do basically take increased damage from certain elements. So in essence, you could use Amber, Lisa, Kaya, and your Geo MC to actually deal the damage here. Now, I actually did two runs of this and I'm actually recording this after those runs. So I'll just go ahead and tell you what I did. The first run is actually just with a team that I would normally just throw a bunch of characters on and just go into a boss battle with. Uh, I even had some trouble with that one just because um, I, was, I was trying to be cool and do do cool stuff but uh i had a few five stars on the team and they completely failed then i switched it up and i went with amber lisa kaya and i actually put noel on the team i did try it with geo mc but because of the way that the uh, the platforms work they suck at like allowing things to be spawned like you can't use zhongli's e the pillar it will not actually spawn on top of the platforms ningwang's shield will not spawn on the platforms geo mc's meteors won't fall to the platform they just do damage and your ult as geo mc doesn't do anything it does deal damage but it doesn't actually put any barriers up and it just it just sucks all right it sucks therefore noel was my only other option but I actually used that team to more success than I used the team with five stars on it. Now, for what it's worth, I do think if you have Ganyu, she is probably going to be the best character to use for this stage, literally because every single thing that you do can be frozen, and that's a huge plus for her. But outside of that, if you didn't get Ganyu, uh, the team that I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes is probably just completely gnarly. And most everybody can build this team to some degree. But I'm going to go ahead and since I told you some of this stuff was pre-recorded, I'm just going to go ahead and play all the pre-recorded stuff from here on out. So here we go. And I'm just going to kind of use some just a random team that I have set up for this video. 
And we're gonna see if we can make this go a little bit faster than it normally would take me. What you giving me first? All right, so we got the... That's... What, what is that? Oh, that's the Finch. <laughs> okay, so that's the Geo. Don't waste my time. Oh yeah, you can't. That sucks. Right, this is the Finch. Maybe, maybe something's wrong with my Ning Wong. I don't know. That's weird. I feel like that shouldn't have taken that long. All right, what we got next? The crabs. All right, the crabs should be cryo, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. This, my Ganyu hits for like 12k normally, like in the overworld. That seemed like it was a little bit beefier. All right, so this is where they're going to start spitting out two... Two different waves. What you got for me? All right, more crabs, fine, and then a finch. Honestly, I think Ganyu just makes this entire fight easier, but who's that bad boy? Rip. I need this. Maybe I was just playing horribly. Cause that that was actually pretty smooth. That was that was pretty quick. What we got next? All right, we got the boars, which are pyro, and we got cranes, and cranes are electro. Just kind of want to freeze this guy. Yeah, see, guy's healing up pretty pretty crazy. There can be no excuse. Just try the electro out. You're in for a little shock. You're in for a little shock. No, let me out of the way. Don't be Stop. So God, that's so annoying. Uh, Rex, nothing. I am sorry. Please take me. All right, so let's see if we can try this. Let's see if this does actually seem like it works. Dance, Kai. Dance. What we got? First thing, crabs. So that is cryo. All okay. What we got? Ferrets. And ferrets are pyro. the difficult part because now we have two waves of enemies what we got cranes cranes are electro and frogs frogs are geo let's just get rid of this frog really quick Pretty smooth. What we got now? Ferrets and You're raptors. <laughs> raptors. Yeah. Try not to enjoy this. Get oh man, this is gonna suck. This moment will be frozen. Let it rain. Come a little closer. <laughs> oh, that was it. <laughs> I did not expect to get through that. Okay. Last, last little bit. What do we got? What do we got? Frog and cranes again. Cool. Someone needs assistance. Oh my gosh. Like oh, come on, man. Oh no. Move! 
Uh, I need food. I need food. Okay. <laughs> oh, oops. Blitz. Oh no. I knew I should have ah. stayed home. Of course. Of course. This of course it is. Doesn't look. All right. All right. Not my finest work, boys. Not not the cleanest run. But I encourage you to go try this yourselves. I will leave a link to the wiki down in the um, the description below just so that you guys can go check this out. Essentially, if we take a look here really quick, uh, everything, of course, is immune to hydro attacks. Don't bring Mona. Don't bring Sing Cho. Uh, unless for whatever reason, if Sing Cho is your off healer, I don't know. Just... Try not to bring any Hydro characters because they're going to be immune to it, period. Uh, boars and ferrets are going to be um, weak to pyro. Cranes and raptors are going to be weak to electro. Crabs and mallards or ducks are going to be weak to cryo. And finches and frogs, weak to geo. Do with that information what you will. Something may be coming up in the near future that could end up needing this information. But unless MiHoYo kind of throws us a wrench in the plan and it ends up being something totally wild and totally different, it was said to be similar to the to the hypostasis event. So I'm assuming it's going to be pretty similar in just the sense that you just turn on a bunch of stuff and you get points based on what you turn on and turn off and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, hopefully this helps you guys with the ocean aid. Uh, I know that it is the worst of the worst when it comes to bosses. So hopefully this makes it a little bit easier, but otherwise see you later. Major shout out to cherry blue, who is a YouTube member. <laughs>